Um, I suppose the most important thing would be, for me, would be your connection with the client. It's all about the client. You have to make them feel like they're the most important person within the, the 30 minutes or the hour session or, or however long you have them. So you're going to have to be a really, really good people person. It doesn't matter how good a trainer you are as long as they're not going to get injured. But I think you really have to make a connection with the client, put yourself in their body, understand where they're coming from, understand their point of view, understand what they're struggling with, understand what they're good at. Good at. And I suppose just that's how you're going to get your um, clients to renew with you, you know, if they're kind of more on the friendly side of things. Like, I suppose they're, they're going to have to give you um, a, bit of a, a bit of adherence, really. You know, at least uh, 80% commitment to you and your plan or your guidance or your trust. Like so, um, I, I suppose they're going to have to commit at least 80% to what you're trying to do with them. Um, it, whatever results they're kind of looking for, like if it's fat loss or weight loss, you know, they're going to have to stick to some sort of a nutrition plan. Um, some people train just to be happy. Some people train just to be feel, just to feel good. Like so, it depends on the goals as well. I suppose a lot of the clients think that when they hire a personal trainer that just by doing the training is enough to get them the result. So sometimes the clients feel like they can eat what they want and do what they want on the weekends and go out and drink and eat takeaways. And they think just, just by doing three personal training sessions a week that's, that's going to get them their results. Like I think that's a mistake a lot of people make. They kind of blame the trainer then and go, oh, I didn't get results because your training sessions weren't tough enough. You know, so a, a lot of the time trainers can get a bit of stick for that if their clients aren't going to stick to some sort of a meal plan or give up drink for a while or give up takeaways or give up rubbish or junk food. They think it's a magic potion. They think the training sessions are going to get you exactly where you need to go. Like, But you know yourself, it, it, a lot of it's about lifestyle. Like, you know, it's how you sleep, it's how you eat, it's how you hydrate um, and how you train. Like, and you, you're going to have to enjoy it as well at the same time. Like, the training alone isn't just going to get you the result. Like, I suppose even my own girlfriend would be one of them. Um, she completely changed her whole lifestyle around when we kind of uh, met at the start. Like she used to be kind of going out on weekends and drinking and stuff. Like, wise nowadays she, her nutrition is better than me. <laughs> believe it or not, she's more consistent with her training. She's getting huge sponsorship deals in the industry. Like, so she's really kind of taken off as a fitness model. Um, so and she's really making a good name for herself. Like, so I, I'd say she's definitely up there with with one of the best uh, transformations and stories I have like because she's completely turned her life around doesn't drink anymore she barely put a bad bad food into her mouth like or anything like that like so definitely I think she's definitely going to be one of them she keeps me on track as well so it's, uh, it's handy I suppose it's the relationships you have with uh, your clients like like in my company alone we've got it, there's three of us three of us on it um, it's called Exceed Fitness, um, but we had 365, no, 364 training sessions last week, half an hour training sessions between three of us, like, so that's an awful lot of training sessions, like, and we wouldn't be doing it unless we enjoyed it or had the relationships with the clients or, you know, that's definitely the, the most enjoyable part of it is, like, like, I think I could train maybe 25, 26, 27 people on, on just one day alone. And what makes it enjoyable is just those connections I have with people and the different conversations and finding out all about them and, you know, how they cope with it and how they manage and how they motivate, how they eat, you know, lifestyle, absolutely everything. Like, So it, it, it definitely makes it really, really enjoyable for me. It's just meeting so many different people and networking, I suppose, you know, different jobs and people helping each other out. And, um, I, I definitely think if the personal trainers are looking to make a sale rather than a relationship, it's going to be a big thing. Like, So a lot of personal trainers nowadays are selling supplements or they're working for companies or they're working for brands. Like, you know, There's different ones like Herbalife and things like that like where they're, they're selling shakes and weight loss shakes and things like that. And they kind of forget about the client's health and they're, more, they're kind of more concerned about maybe a before and after picture or a result. So for me, it's not all about getting a client result. Most of the clients we do, we get a we get a, a good result with them. But it's not all about that at the end of the day. It's it's about the the client's happiness, and they're not going to get that sort of um, happiness from. Sorry, I'm busy. And they're not going to get happiness from you know getting a quick result, and then three or four months down the line, they find themselves in the exact same position all over again. So um, 
red flags would definitely be salesmen and that people are looking to make relations with their clients. You're you're definitely if if you're hiring a trainer, you're gonna you're gonna get a the best push possible. So you kind of have no choice but to be motivated if you have an appointment with a trainer. So if if you have a, an eight o'clock appointment in the morning, like and you have the choice between going to the gym at eight o'clock in the morning or meeting a personal trainer, you're going to meet the trainer first all the time. Uh, you're going to get a better training session with the trainer because if you're with your buddies, you're going to be messing about, you know, laughing and joking. Whereas if you get a trainer, you're going to have a bit of that, but it's going to be a bit more about the the training session. Um, I think everybody could do with a personal trainer. To be honest, like I'm I'm in this industry a long time. I've been helping people a long time. I'd love to have a trainer myself, just because you're accountable to someone. Uh, you're going to have someone pushing you, checking up with you, you know, looking after you. And it's nice to always have someone like that. So I, I think everybody from elite athletes to people sitting home on the couch, like personal training is for everybody. It's just about finding the right person and the right style that's going to make you get your goals and achieve what you want.